Hello friends, this is Ness from Miss Mesa, and in this video I'm going to show you 7 ways to use washi tapes in your notebooks. For the first idea, I'm going to make swatches of the washi tapes from the Archer and Olive Advent Calendar. Making swatches of your washi tapes is very useful if you have lots of them. So I'm going to get little pieces of each one and stick them to a page of my notebook. In this case, it is a collection of 7 washi tapes and I have calculated the space on the page to be able to see them all together. And I write next to them the number of the box that contains them. I recommend that you cut a big enough piece to see the washi design, especially if they have prints like the lollipop one. A good idea if you have a lot of washi tapes is to sort them by colors or collections and swatch them in the same order. This way you can know where to look for the washi you choose with just a glance at your notebook. In this second part, I'm going to show you a super quick and easy way to add a Dutch door to your bullet journal. The first thing is to cut out the size of the paper you want to add. I'm going to add half a page in craft color from my Neapolitan notepad. Next is to measure a strip of washi of the same length. I prefer to cut it a little longer and then trim off the excess so I don't fall short. And now I do the same on the other side. You just have to be careful to follow the straight line with the help of the dots in the notebook. And that's it, easy peasy. The third is a super fun idea inspired by a post by Linda from My Buja Life. It is making banners with your washi tapes. I'm going to make a whole page of banner ideas, combining plain and patterned ones, all in bright colors. But you can use any of these ideas to decorate your pages, for your headers and dates in your bullet journal, in cards and for a thousand other things. To make the banners more eye-catching, I outline the shape with a black fine liner. You can also complete the drawing with a few simple lines. If you are going to make a full spread like me, I recommend you to make a quick sketch first to distribute them well. The dot notebooks will help you because the washes usually have the width of several squares, depending on how wide they are. And if you want to use my sketch, just download it from my blog post at Archer and Olive. There you will find the printables and the step-by-step -step of this video and many more projects of different kinds. Ok, you can see it, but right now my pants and desk are full of washi pieces. I look like a Christmas tree, super decorated. And for this last one, I'm going to cut a little bit of the washi tape to make the sides narrower. Some lines and I finally have the whole spread covered, yay! Now let's go with a lettering idea that works great for headings and dates. We stick a strip of washi carefully and write over the word, in this case a day of the week. The important thing is that there is enough lettering outside the washi so that the lettering is legible when we remove it. Now I'm going to decorate it with a line as a shadow. Once the word is finished and the paint is dry, carefully lift the washi. I recommend doing it diagonally and slowly so as not to damage the paper. Don't rush it at the end like I did. Once the washi is peeled off, you can write in the gap it has left. In this case, I'm going to write the month and the year. For this trick, you can use a washi tape that you like less, because we are removing it after using it. I used one that I love just because I'm filming. The fifth idea is to use washi tape to decorate and separate a monthly calendar. I have first calculated where to separate the weeks and days. But if you don't feel like calculating, you'll find the printable on Archer and Olive's blog along with more information. For this, I'm going to use the tiny washi tape from the December subscription box and also the biggest one. Once I have everything written, I'm going to cut strips the width of my wig. You can do it in two parts, dividing the washi where the pages are separated or you can cut the whole strip if you prefer. 
and to decorate the bottom of the calendar, I'm using the wider washi. With the calendar already divided, I'm sticking some dot stickers for the numbers, but this is optional, because you can write them directly on the paper. But I had these stickers at home, and I think they go great with the colors of the suit box. I'm going to write the numbers, and the calendar spread is finished. This one is the easiest and most obvious idea of all, and that is to use washi tape to attach postcards, photos or cards to your notebook. I'm making quite a cheesy spread in this case, which could be a Valentine's spread. I first laid out the elements as I want them to be on the pages, and then I just need to add some washi to attach them to the paper. I am also going to add a secret note to the spread. For that, I cut a little piece of black paper from my Neapolitan notepad and I also attach it with washi tape. I write a little lettering and add thickness to the downward stroke in full calligraphy mode. And under this little sign, we can write a secret note. And since it's secret, I'm not really writing it for the video. And finally, another super easy and quick idea. We are going to put washi tape on the edges of some pages to use them as section dividers. And this is as easy as cutting a strip of washi a little bit longer than the page and stick it along the edge through the middle of the washi tape. When it is well on one side, fold it carefully and stick it well on the other side. Now all you have to do is carefully trim the corners and you're done. I'm going to do the same on two more pages so you can see how they look. You can do this on all the pages if you want to decorate your puja, but I prefer to do it only on some specific pages to separate them from others, for example, on the first page of each month. I love how pretty and colorful looks once it's finished. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked all these ideas and you tried some of them. If they have inspired you and you want to tag Archie and me, we will love to see your creations. See you in next video. Bye.